There are several ways to browse the Macrobond database. In this video, we'll look at when and how to use the source and release view. We'll go through how the data is organized and show you the options for finding and viewing data. If you know the source of the data or if you're unsure where to find the data in country and region, we recommend the source and release view. The source and release view allows you to locate series using the source as a starting point. In this database view, many of the datasets are organized as the source does. Others have been structured by Macrobond using a logical categorization of the components. Sources that produce data for more than one country can be found in the respective region or underworld. The rest are located under the country they produce data for. To view the sources, just click on the node. You have two main options when looking for data here, using the search bar or manually navigating the tree. Both have their merits, depending on what you're looking for. Use the search bar to search for the names of sources or releases, then select a result to see the data. Here the series are listed alphabetically. If you want to see a series in relation to the rest of the dataset, use the Locate in Tree function. If you're unsure of the name of the release you're looking for, or want to see the data in an organized structure, you'll be better off navigating the tree by hand. Let's say you're looking for data on investments in fixed assets for China. Click on China and find the source. As you can see, the categories are structured to mirror the source's organization. Click on the relevant category to bring up its constituent series. When navigating the tree this way, it's worth applying country filters, so that you don't have to look through all the countries in the database. Just keep in mind that the filter works according to where the data is located in the tree. For example, the ECB will not be shown if you filter by Germany, because the ECB data is located under the Euro Area node. So make sure to include the region when using filters if you want regional sources to show up in the tree. Now that you have your series displayed here, it's helpful to know about a few features that make it easier for you to view the data. Depending on what you've selected, you might see tabs that divide the data based on the methodology used to calculate the series. The flat setting will show you all the series and the frequency filter allows you to only view series with a particular frequency. You can also use the slider for a more or less detailed view of the components. Keep in mind when using the slider that you haven't activated either the flat setting or the frequency filter. That should get you started on navigating this view. Remember that if you get stuck, you can always hit F1 on your keyboard to access relevant resources on the help website. 